Halloween is coming up, and you know what that means, right? Candy? Costumes? Cosplay? Nah. It's time to reflect on how cultural appropriation is and remains a major issue in our modern society. You see, what's happening is a dominant culture is taking things from the oppressed culture without any respect for their cultural and historical significance. Doing so is an act of aggression, as it's an exercise in power imbalance. It's like if you bake an extremely racist pizza, then I steal it, and then my friends compliment me on my cooking. It's bigotry. If we want to get serious about stopping cultural violence, then we must stop cultural appropriation. You see, colored people, sorry not sorry, people of color, or pox, are all racists without exception, and they need to understand that their bigoted role in the harm they do to our communities. Everything they do is racist, so I'm going to help break down the everyday things that pox do that are literally genocide. A popular yet problematic tradition among Pox during Halloween is telling white people they're committing cultural appropriation in their costume choices. This is clearly a distraction, meant to conceal the fact that they themselves are committing the very cultural appropriation white people are accused of. You see, Pox congregate and organize on the internet. They're appropriating technology developed as a symbol of racial strength and resistance by white people against Pac oppression and bigotry. My god, what Pac supremacy! But wait, it gets worse. To interface with the internet, Pacs use computers. I know Alan Turing was wearing blackface when he built the first computer, the Turing machine, but the computer is an important symbol. Literally, the computer has no other function or purpose but to symbolize the strength of white culture and resistance to oppression. To use it in any other manner is to spit on the decades of a beautiful tradition. To get a computer, it needs to be purchased, a process only possible through capitalism, which was conceived of by white people as a means to facilitate resistance and symbolize the strength of white people. The store itself was also probably founded by white people, towering as a physical monument to the strength of the white race and of resistance to oppression. Simply owning a computer is problematic if you're not white. To get to the store, you must drive on roads laid out and zoned by the priesthood of statism who are, more likely than not, white people. Roads symbolize the strength of whiteness and resistance. One can walk, but pock racists who don't care about culturally appropriating white culture like a bunch of bigots will probably drive a car. My god, the car. Such arrogance, such entitlement that Pox think they have a right to rape white history the way they do. The automobile was invented as a symbol of the strength of the white race and resistance. We know this because when Benz made it, they were wearing blackface. After all, on a machine built by white people driving on top of black roads, the symbolism is clear. White triumph over black oppression. Even after all that racial violence, Pox still aren't satisfied. Once they completed all of these problematic behaviors, they had their ill-gotten computers, now they'll write on websites. Websites which were, more likely than not, started by white people as a means of communicating their racial strength and resistance to each other. Now, what right do Pox have to intrude on these white spaces? to complain about the cultural appropriation that they themselves are committing. The words cultural appropriation is itself cultural appropriation. The English language was developed by white people over the centuries in the no melanin allowed club called England. The English language's sole purpose is to communicate ideas of whiteness, white strength, and resistance. By communicating in English, Pox are appropriating the rich cultural history of the entirety of the white race, and that's not allowed. I like to think Pox don't know the harm they're doing, but ignorance of bigotry and history is no excuse. Maybe we can take things we like from your culture, you can take things you like from our culture, through free and voluntary exchange, allowing us to enrich and improve on each other's culture, and leave it at that. Maybe we should stop worrying about who's appropriating whose culture, because fundamentally, nobody cares if Elvis was or wasn't inspired by black musicians. Nah. People who appropriate white culture are worse than Hitler. If a white person invented anything, like the internet, democracy, anarchism, plastic, germ theory, penicillin, air conditioning, automobiles, the highway system, computers, the internet, x-rays, 
capitalism, socialism, okay, maybe that was Jews, the abolition of slavery as a moral principle, logic, the scientific method, the United States of America, philosophy, and so much more. That obviously means that they are all manifestations of resistance and the strength of the white people and serve literally no other function. Obviously. I mean, that's why your bones show up as white on an x-ray. Furthermore, non-whites are not allowed to use them. Ever. Every POC who boots up a computer and watches this very video is literally raping and killing billions of white people and one magical cartoon lizard right now. The only possible restitution for this blasphemous atrocity is to cleanse the bodies and souls of the original sin of colored privilege for every POC and for them to dedicate their lives in supplication to whites and white people. I mean, that's what progressives are demanding of white people.